Today's guest is a return guest. It's Catherine Arnson from Energy Bits. Guys, you got to hear this episode, especially towards the end. She is going to share something that she found out about algae and mitochondria, spirulina specifically, and mitochondrial health that you need to freaking know. This is insane. It's a new breakthrough for her and her research. She's pretty obsessed <laughs> with algae, with spirulina and chlorella. And if you haven't heard the first episode, you're fine. She's going to cover the basics of what they are and why they're freaking amazing. This huge gift from nature that <laughs> like, I'm like, what doesn't it do for human health? Um, but she's going to talk about something she discovered just at the beginning of this year in terms of mitochondrial health and spirulina, and I'm not going to spoil it. You got to hear it. Wait. And, and if you're listening on audio, it's fine. You'll, you'll be able to follow along, but if you want to watch on YouTube, she has a lot of visuals. She's just such an amazing teacher. So she always has all these awesome visuals. So if you prefer to learn that way, head over there. If not, I think you'll be able to hang just fine with the episode, but man, this one is cool. This is really, really freaking cool. I'm excited for you guys to hear it. Um, and at the end, she mentions this towards the end, but if you want to get energy bits at the end of this, it's coach Tara is the coupon code at energybits.com. All right, let's dive in with Catherine Arson. All right, guys, we've got Catherine Arson in the house. This is a very requested return guest. Catherine is amazing. If you didn't hear my other episode with Catherine or Instagram lives, and this is your first intro, you're in for a treat. And if you have heard it before, Guess what? She's not just talking about the same stuff because you guys know that Catherine is a super curious mind, super <laughs> smart woman, and she's got some more in-depth stuff to share with you guys in terms of algae, spirulina, chlor chlorella. We're going to get into mitochondrial health today, but, and if you're what, not watching on YouTube, I'm holding up energy bits and recovery bits. I've been talking about these a lot on my social media lately. It just keeps coming. I'm like, these are, they have become one of my staples because they do so many freaking amazing things all in one little easy serving. So let's start with some foundational, just real quick spirulina yeah. and chlorella, and then we'll go into mitochondrial health and all your new nerdy, awesome science stuff. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want to, you know, uh, bore people who've listened to the first one, but I will do a recap just to be sure that you understand a few things. Number one is that algae is food. It's not a supplement. Supplements are made in factories uh, from extracts that don't actually exist in nature. So it's hard for your body to absorb them or use them. In contrast, algae is grown. In, uh, algae does exist everywhere. It's in the oceans, the rivers, the lakes, the streams, the soil. But the two that um, we sell and that you would find anywhere from Target to Whole Foods are harvested in fresh water. So number one, they're grown as a food crop. And number two, they're not from the ocean. <laughs> so there's no toxins, at least certainly not in ours. And mm -hmm. I'm showing a picture of a spirulina farm. It's grown in long, narrow farms and chlorella is grown in, in round ones. And then, um, so, so that's number one, algae is, is a food. And then in, in case, in the case of our algae, uh, it's grown in triple filtered spring mountain water. We dry it without high heat. This will be very important when we get to the mitochondria part, because there are ends, enzymes are killed by high heat. And there's one very important enzyme that can only be found in spirulina that is your superhero because it saves your mitochondria. So hang wow. in there to find out which one cool. that is because that's a game changer for your health. The science community is mm. uh, all excited about it. And anyway, so, so it can't be used with high heat. So we dry it into powder without high heat. And then we press them into little tiny tablets that are about the size of a baby aspirin. We call them bits because they're bits of nutrition. And in fact, there is so much nutrition in each one of these tablets that it equals the same nutrition of an entire plate of vegetables. So if you don't like vegetables, don't have time to eat them, have digestive distress, um, or just, you know, if you're a carnivore or you're keto and you're not looking for carbs, there are zero carbs in the algae, which is why Dr. Gundry uh, endorses them. Uh, and they're effortless. You just swallow a handful, zero carbs. So you can stay on point with your intermittent fasting. A lot of people use the spirulina uh, in the morning for intermittent fasting because spirulina has the highest protein in the world. It, ours has 64% protein. It's three times the amount of protein at stake. It's a blue-green algae because it has two pigments in it, a blue one called phycocyanin and a green one called chlorophyll. Uh, we'll talk about chlorella in a minute. But just to show you how good the protein is, in animal protein, it's all bound up. Your body can't absorb it that way. It has to break it down into amino acids, which can take days. Collagen is in smaller clusters of 
aminos called peptides, but algae, all the uh, 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 protein is already in amino acid form. So there's nothing for your body to break down to get access to all that gorgeous protein. And in fact, spirulina is a bacteria, also an important thing to remember when we get to the mitochondria health part. Uh, well, the reason why that's important for the protein is that it, uh, there's nothing for your body to break down to get access to the protein, the 40 other vitamins and mineral, minerals, which and it's loaded with uh, high B vitamins, which convert the protein to energy, which is why we call our uh, spirulina energy bits, because it energizes your body, your brain. And as you're going to find out, it also energizes yeah. your mitochondria. I but just have to interject real quick and say how huge that is for where we're at in human health right now, because there are so many people with gut issues from chronic stress, from environmental factors, from, you know, a million different reasons. And if you can't have good gut bacteria to extract these kind of nutrients from your food, you can't break it down. You can't even eat them without getting bloated and thyroid symptoms and all these things. Like it's very difficult to get better when you can't yeah. get the nutrients properly that you need. So that is like so freaking huge. Like I can't put enough like emphasis exclamation points yeah. on that. And I don't even have gut issues, but I recognize the value of these suckers. That's why I'm eating them every day, <laughs> you know, but that is really, really important right now. Like, especially for those of you who have gut issues. Oh my yes. God, eat these things. Okay. Yes. Going. <laughs> well, and, and I'm glad you mentioned that, uh, Tara, because, um, as we get to the mitochondria health part, there's this, uh, I'll give you a little teaser. There's this enzyme called superoxide dismutase. It's a mouthful, also known as SOD. And as I mentioned, it's in it's the highest concentration in the world is found in spirulina, but only raw spirulina. But anyways, the reason why it's important to mention now is that even if you take SOD supplements or even the minuscule amount of it that's in uh, something like cabbage or broccoli never gets to your your um, mitochondria because it gets destroyed during your uh, digestion. So because the al spirulina only is a bacteria, because it gets absorbed so quickly, all the superoxide dismutase and all the protein and all the other 40 vitamins and minerals literally get absorbed instantly into your bloodstream and literally bypass digestion. And this is why it's so great if you have a compromised gut health issue a lot of older people can't digest a lot of right. um, complex uh, vegetables. Um, right. It's it's just really hard when you're stressed out. This is like your answer. It also balances your blood sugar because there is no caffeine, chemicals, or sugar, and it's so loaded with essential fatty acids. So, right. um, spir in fact, spirulina, I didn't mention it, but spirulina has been endorsed by the United Nations since 1974 as the answer to world hunger <laughs> because <laughs> of the high protein content. But now we're finding out it's got this thing called superoxide dismutase, which is going to turn your, your head on. You're going to flip your head around when you find out more about this, because this will ensure your longevity, uh, prevent, help you not get chronic illness and give you more energy. Because when we talk about energy, it's not just mental energy and physical energy. There's something called cellular energy, cellular respiration. Those little mitochondria generate all of the energy. It's called ATP that your body uses for everything, sleeping, digesting, thinking, walking, just being everything. 90% of your energy comes from these mitochondria. I can't wait till we get to it. So, so yeah. stay, with, stay with us. But yes, yeah, so spirulina has the highest protein in the world compared to all the other sources. Um, and it's, uh, it, it is, and it's plant protein. So get, as I said, it gets absorbed very, very quickly. Now, just a quick recover, um, summary on chlorella. It's a green algae, does belong to the plant kingdom. So it does have a, a cell wall. In fact, it has the hardest cell wall in the plant kingdom. So it does have fiber that does feed that gut biome. But the uh, claim to fame is chlor chlorella is that has the highest chlorophyll in the world. Chlorophyll is what builds your blood. I'm showing a picture of the chlorophyll chemical composition compared to your hemoglobin chemical composition. And they're virtually identical. The difference, the only difference is that your blood has iron in the middle and that's what carries oxygen in, the, in, uh, in your blood. That's why chlorophyll builds your blood. It is virtually identical to your blood. And when you have healthy blood, you are going to have more oxygen. You're going to have more energy. You're going to have healthier organs. You're going to have healthier brain. Everything works better with chlorophyll. And it's almost impossible to get chlorophyll from our food anymore because the soils are so damaged that even if you eat vegetables, 
there's virtually no chlorophyll in them. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but my arugula goes yellow after about day three. That's because it didn't start with much chlorophyll in the first place. There's, it's all, you could have a room full of arugula and not get the same amount of, of chlorophyll that's in a little tiny container like that. A room full, if you know, a thousand square feet, never even come close to the chlorophyll that's in wow. here. So, so it's, I call this efficient nutrition. And well, I, I also call it intelligent food because you have to be yeah. intelligent to take it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm thinking for and athletic recovery, to, pardon me for athletic recovery too. That's why recovery bits have become part of my evening yeah. routine after dinner. I drink some greens and I have my recovery bits and I just, I don't know. I just love it in the day that way. Stop eating a few hours before bed, go to sleep yeah. early, wake up feeling freaking amazing, you know, yeah. throw some energy bits in and here we go. Let's go yeah. world, you know? <laughs> well, not only does that chlorophyll um, build your blood, it's, it's a fat based pigment and I'll, and I'll show it to you. I'll prove it to you. I did a couple of tests where I put some tablets in, a, in some water for energy bits and see that beautiful blue color that dispersed evenly through the water. And then I did the same thing with the chlorella and see how it didn't disperse. I did this so many times until I finally figured out what was happening. The blue pigment is a water-based pigment. This is why it has healing properties like it stops the growth of blood vessels to your uh, to tumors. Uh, and the chlor chlorophyll, because it's a fat-based pigment, it heals your cell walls. We know that healthy fats uh, will build your cell walls, uh, omega-3s, uh, D, uh, E, well, chlorophyll too. So um, when you have chlorophyll building your, your cell walls, nutrients can get in and toxins can get out. And so I remind people that, you know, when you have dirty windows, you can't see out and sunlight can't get in. So think of chlorophyll as window washers for your cell walls. So everything works really well. But yeah, um, cell membranes, huge. I wish there was more focus on that. Freaking yeah. huge. It's where everything comes in and out. It's everything, everything. <laughs> huge. If it's not working, I mean, it's like uh, yeah. have someone having <laughs> lockdown on your bank account. You can't yeah, you're going to be, become obese and exhausted. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And sick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you're going to find out the mitochondria control that too. So that's why you want to keep those little mitochondria really happy. Um, but you mentioned about the um, taking the chlorella after workouts. That's because chlorella has that hard cell wall attaches to toxins of any kind, lead, mercury, radiation, but also lactic acid. So when you take it after a workout, then you, um, it pulls out the lactic acid. So that's why we call our chlorella recovery bits. It helps you recover from your day, recover from toxins, recover from any illness. By the way, the average human adult has 800 toxins in their body now. So you, and those are causing damage, silent damage. So you want to get rid of them. And uh, because if you take this every day, it's like giving your body a shower from the inside. Yeah. I mean, we all take a shower on the outside every day. Right. Well, this gives you a shower on the inside. And I remind people, uh, our bodies aren't just stuck somewhere that we're constantly regenerating cells, bones, yes. skin, right. You know, so, right? Well, where do you think the old stuff goes? Well, <laughs> if you don't pull it out, it stays lodged in your, in your body and collects uh, bacteria, which clogs up your lymphatic system, uh, turns your cells to acidic uh, from a, P, a nice uh, alkaline pH, which attracts other diseases. So even if we were in a perfect clean world, you would still need to pull out the, the old dead stuff. Like, hey, you know, if you don't take your garbage out uh, for a couple of days, your place starts to smell, right? Well, just think of the same thing going on in your body. If you don't get rid of those dead cells that have been remodeled, um, then, you know, you, you're going to run into problems, health issues. So yeah, you want yeah. to and so even this and even if you're not very active, let's say you're mostly sedentary, like you also need the recovery, but it's a lot to help with that lymph flow, you know, and please yeah. go for a walk too, is my push as a health professional, a trainer, but like, yeah, both ways, like we've got to yeah. help our body. And that's how I think of it too, is like every time I eat energy bits, or drink my greens or, you know, just eat a really healthy meal or what. I'm just like, here you go, body. You're going to love yeah, this. Exactly. And I know why you said intelligent people tend to, because like we live in a world now where normal you know, just going to McDonald's or just whatever steakhouse or whatever. Normal means sick, obese, exhausted, depressed, mental health issues, all these things. And so like, yeah, there is, I'm just being real. Like there is like an intelligence factor. It's like, dude, you're going to have to choose better for yourself. Choose you're going to have better, to be right. in the know and curious about what it's going to take now in our modern world, especially in the United States and maybe England and Australia, we could throw in there too, because their stats aren't looking so good. But 
we're going to have to be proactive about helping our bodies thrive with the amount of evolution that we've had. That's not really going in a great way for health we're outcomes. Right you have direction. to choose it. <laughs> you have to choose it, dude. Yeah. You have to like have that kind of mindset of like, I'm going to have to proactively seek out things that are going to help my body and my soul and my mind and all my systems thrive in this world that has all these plastics and toxins and endocrine disruptors and, you know, TV and screens in our face all day. And like, you're going to have to choose it, dude. You have to go outside. You're going to have to put more nature in your body. And that's what I love about energy bits and recovery bits is like, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to eat algae. Otherwise when, like, when was the last time you guys ate algae? <laughs> right. Like you're not gonna going to. So I'm grateful that you made this. So it's, and I actually like the taste of recovery bits. Well, I like I, to, and I, you know, the, the recovery bits taste really great when you have um, pistachio nuts or macadamia nuts for those of you, yeah. who are keto. really, it tastes like you're eating but, uh, potato chips, but I'll tell you, yeah, there is nothing in the world with more nutrition than these. And the reason I particularly love them, not only because they're eco-friendly, sustainable and nutrient dense, but they're effortless. I mean, mm -hmm. if you can swallow water, you can get the nutrients you need in seconds. seconds. There is no excuse <laughs> I know. to feel crappy. No excuse. I know. It's like, just choose so, it. Just freaking you know, do it. It's such if, a small act. <laughs> you know, we, here in America, people want fast food. This is fast food. It's <laughs> yeah. food. I showed you how we grow it. And it's fast. All you need to do, if you can swallow five or 10 uh, in the uh, spirulina in the morning to get you out the door, get you ready for your day. So you're energized mentally, physically, uh, and take them before a workout. And then they take the chlorella before you go to bed, because when you sleep, you go through a detox and repair cycle. That repair cycle is really important because that's when your body gets rid of the garbage it doesn't need. That's when it's get, it helps you with peristalsis that's when it's you know healing your the mitochondria are healing everything or not if you don't have any help so but they're effortless you don't have to yeah. run out to the grocery store and change your diet you don't have to change anything just add them to whatever you're doing it doesn't matter whether you're vegan keto paleo car carnivore uh lazy active <laughs> male female. i know and I'll say it every time. I will say it every time, but get your kids on this stuff, especially yes. your teenagers. Oh yes. my gosh. Like, you know, I, I mean, my kids, like, obviously we talk about giving your body what it needs and nutrients, but like, they're not always here. They're like off, off with their friends and they're eating crap. Like all that's, you know, and I'm not going to like ever guilt them out of that. So I'm just like, okay, like, let's make sure we give your body what it needs. And they yes. like it. They like yeah. the energy, but it's such an easy way. And we kind of gamify it. It's like, how many can you swallow at once with your, right, you know right. what I mean? And they're like, watch and me, watch me. Or if you <laughs> them that I don't have any right now, but my, your, if you chew them, your tongue turns green and young kids think that's hilarious. So they, turn, yeah. they have a game about their, their, uh, you know, tongue being green, but that's why I've, I've coined a new phrase. I call this your nutritional insurance. Yeah. So yeah. even if you're out eating other junk food, at least, at least you've given yes. your body what it needs yes. to perform for you. It want, it's on in. your side, yes. right? It's on your side. <laughs> yes. And I will add real quick to my friend, Erin, who introduced us, like she she just buys a bag here and there. It's like her, if the world goes to shit and we lose our food system, that's her, that's her yeah. backup plan. She's like, I'm gonna make sure I have like a nutrient packed, really easy thing that lasts forever. Do they ever expire? Catherine? But, well, we put an expiry date on because we're required to uh, it's <laughs> yeah. usually two or three years. Uh, yeah. the <laughs> However, I will tell you, they never go bad. Algae, when it's growing <laughs> as a crop, never dies. The other crops, corn, wheat, doesn't matter oh. what it is, tomatoes, wow. when the growing conditions deteriorate, they just die, right? Not algae. Wow. It just goes dormant. It will go dormant indefinitely until the growing conditions return. And I may have told you wow. an example I read about the National Geographic team went up to the Antarctic and they were doing some carbon dating of the ice and they found this one piece of ice with some algae in it. Wow. They brought it back to the lab and they figured out it was almost 2 billion years no. old. And they put the oh algae God. in a Petri dish and added some water and wouldn't you know, the darn thing started growing again. Algae oh my is gosh. its own world Amazing. <laughs> it's like mycelium mushrooms are that way too they never die they're like eternal yeah, <laughs> like yeah. as long as they get food again they'll just start growing again they right, just go dormant right. like that it's so cool and okay when, let's and when we, and when i get to this i'm going to get to the mitochondria health part now because i've got something that's going to turn you upside down hey, and, and explain nerds unite 
Yes. Optimization yes. Geeks Unite. Let's revolutionary go. Revolutionary <laughs> and revolutionary. So stay Ooh. tuned. <laughs> yes. All right. Can't so we're wait. ready for mitochondria. So anyway, so that's the basics. Spirulina, very energizing, blue-green algae, take it in the morning before a workout, uh, fills all your nutrient gaps um, and uh, good for any age group of any kind. No interactions with anything of any kind, uh, say for kids, pets, newborns, grandparents, and chlorella, which is a detoxing wellness algae, pulls out toxins, build your immune system, take it before bed, to pull out toxins and help rebuild your life and your your world so uh those are the two yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank food, you for right? that food. okay so let's talk to about mitochondria because as all the science is getting realized it's not just inflammation that's causing all disease all infl- it's it's going deeper it's into the mitochondria mitochondria are the what's called little organelles they're in your little in all of your cells and they generate they've always been known for generating energy for your body and the energy currency is called ATP. What they do is they take all the food that you give it and convert it into this ATP. And that's what energizes your cells. Um, now let's, um, uh, but there's what they found out also is that the mitochondria control everything. It's not just gener- generating energy. They control cellular communication. They control um, all of the inputs and outputs of the cells. They control whether disease gets turned on or turned off, and we'll show you how and why. So here's a couple of fun facts, first of all, about mitochondria. There's something like 100,000 trillion <laughs> in your body. It's unbelievable how many there are. And the highest concentration of them are in the cells that need the most energy. Um, And I'll get to that in a second. Um, Now, you know that you have your own uh, DNA. There's about 25,000 cellular DNA. Well, the mitochondria have their own DNA. Then there's only 37 of them. And you think, how, how important can 37 be? Well, those 37 control all of the other 25,000 DNA, regular DNA, and they control everything else. So you want to keep your mitochondria DNA healthy because when they are healthy, then they will be able to control everything um, well. And if they're diseased, then everything falls apart basically. So, uh, and the problem is your mitochondria DNA mutate 10 times faster than your regular DNA And this is because the mitochondria DNA are located exactly where your ATP is produced. So they are getting fried by free radicals because free radicals are released during um, the production of ATP. So let me show you where, just in case you didn't think mitochondria were important, there are 2 million mitochondria per cell in your brain. To, it's hard to even that. comprehend, it's, you know, like that's, you know, if, if, if you've ever been in a subway in New York City during rush hour, and you think that's packed. Think about it. Two million mitochondria per cell in your Insane. brain. Insane. That's nuts. That's why they're realizing Alzheimer's is a mitochondrial disease. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so th- this is how important mitochondria are. The next highest concentration of mitochondria is in women's eggs. Now your regular DNA um, come half from the sperm and half from the female's eggs. Mitochondria DNA are all from the women. Yay, ladies. Uh, Mm -hmm. And and the mitochondria DNA control everything. Yay, ladies. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But the trouble, and so your eggs have the next highest concentration of mitochondria. They have 600,000 per cell in your egg. This is because it takes a lot of energy to make a new human, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, and the next highest is in your heart and in your muscles where there are 5,000 mitochondria per cell. So athletes, listen up. It's not just building muscle. You need to protect your mitochondria because your mitochondria are what are fueling and energizing those muscles. Mm -hmm. So that's why keeping your mitochondria healthy is important. It affects all of your major organs uh, and particularly your brain. So as I mentioned, the mitochondria, which are like, they're shaped like a little peanut uh, inside your cell. They produce ATP. And when you have energy, you basically have life, right? Right. But then, as I mentioned, they're realizing that the mitochondria DNA control everything. So I'm going to show you something. Here's your cell, okay? 
And inside your cell, you have one nucleus, but also inside the cell, you have all those multiple little peanut shaped mitochondria. This only has three, but think about 2 million of these being in your brain. And inside that little mitochondria is where your DNA is. Okay, the mitochondria DNA. Your regular DNA is far, far away from the inner membrane, where, which is where your ATP is produced. So here's the problem. Your DNA, mitochondria DNA is located exactly where the ATP is produced, which is exactly where the free radicals are released. Your regular DNA is way over here in the cheap seats, but your mitochondria DNA are front row and center, and they get fried all the time because we know that free radicals are very damaging. And yeah. in the ATP production, the most damaging free radical is called superoxide. And the problem is, so, so the key is to protecting your mitochondria DNA is to make sure that they, you, they don't have as much free radical damage. So there's two ways you can do that. The first, one way is to reduce the free radicals. And the second way is to remove them. So let's find out how to do that. The first way, which is to reduce free radicals. Well, uh, here's another picture of that mitochondria where your DNA are located and also where the ATP is produced. So, but you'll notice that there's, a, there's two membranes in the mitochondria. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So what they're finding is that when you eat carbs, you generate massive amounts of free radicals, massive amounts. Sugar and carbs are filling up your mitochondria. It's like a, a, a exhaust coming from a car. The exhaust are the free radicals and they're killing your mitochondria. So they found out, uh, however, that keto diets release fewer free radicals. So, so here's carb diet. Here's a keto diet, fewer, fewer free radicals. And then you have algae or fasting virtually no free radicals. So this is one way that you can reduce your free radicals, adopt either a keto diet or start using more algae or doing fasting. That's number one to reduce the free radical damage of your mitochondria. But the problem is it's hard to stay on a keto diet and it's hard to stay fasted. Uh, intermittent fasting, that's why is, is really probably the answer for, for most people. So I'd strongly recommend you do the intermittent fasting. Yeah. Okay. So, but the number two re op opportunity is to remove the free radicals. But here's the problem. Remember I mentioned there was a second membrane around the mitochondria and I'll tell you in a minute why there's two. All other cells have one membrane. Mitochondria are the only two, only cell that has two membranes. So the problem is virtually no antioxidants can penetrate that second membrane. You can eat all the vitamin C, vitamin E, even glutathione can't get in there. There's only a couple antioxidants that can make their way into that second membrane to stop the free radical damage. And the one that they've discovered is called superoxide dismutase. Because remember I said, the most damaging free radical is called superoxide. So superoxide dismutase, which is also known as SOD, can get into that second membrane and stop the free radical damage. Um, and you know what they do, the SOD? It basically turns the free radicals into water. Ta-da! Uh, Mitochondria yeah. are safe. It's yeah. unbelievable. And it's all been proven by science. So basically, your SOD, superoxide dismutase, puts out the fire uh, yeah. that is caused by the free radicals. Because, you know, if you've ever sat by a bonfire or got close to a fireplace, if you got too close, sparks would fly, right? And right. you could get burned. Well, that's exactly what's happening to your mitochondria DNA. They are located exactly where the ATP is produced, which is exactly where the free radicals are. And the free radicals are like sparks. And they are just constantly burning up your mitochondria DNA. So... Uh, you've got to protect it somehow. And they have found out that the superoxide dismutase is the answer. Now, I'll tell you a couple of things. Our bodies make superoxide dismutase. And you have lots, you have quite a bit when you're young. You, you have everything when you're young, right? <laughs> yeah. But as you get older, you, your body starts producing SOD. So that option is eliminated. They've also realized that 
um, superoxide dismutase some supplements get damaged in digestion. So that's mm-hmm. not going to help. They're realizing that there's a minuscule amount of superoxide mm-hmm. dismutase in broccoli or cabbage, but they get da- that gets damaged in, um, in um, d- digestion. So, mm-hmm. but the good news is spirulina has been discovered to have the highest concentration of superoxide dismutase nice. in the world. Now, wow. and they did a test. There's some science, and I've got all the references for you. They did a test. They took people that were anxious, tired, um, depressed, and they gave them 105 units of superoxide dismutase. And within weeks, their energy returned, their anxiety was gone, their depression was gone with just 105 units. Each one of our spirulina tablets contain a thousand superoxide wow. dismutase units, a thousand. So if you took wow. 30 of our tablets, you're getting 24,000 units of superoxide dismutase. Wow. Unbelie- Talk about protection. I mean, this is, this is better than having the FBI looking after you. But here's the trick, okay? Superoxide dismutase is an enzyme and high heat kills any enzyme. Now, when I started the company, it was because my sister had breast cancer. I wasn't even planning on starting a company. I just wanted to, I learned that plant-based nutrition, which led me to algae, was really helpful for your health. And so everything I've done was to always choose methods and systems that would be helpful for people. And when I, 12 years ago, when I found out that high heat would kill enzymes. I said, well, that won't work for us because everybody else uses high heat because all the other algae companies are low price, high volume. So they have to get the algae dried quickly, which was why they use high heat to get it out to market. But we're not that kind of company. We're we're focused on quality. So I said, we can't use high heat. So we've never used high heat. And it You're like, to, we want it to work and do we stuff. We want it to work. I just knew that it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't good. I didn't even know about superoxide dismutase then. And now this answers the question. Wow. We used to have people that would use our product and they go, well, it's a little pricey, so I'm going to go try a cheaper version. They always come back because right. they said it was never the same. And now I know why. It's because, I mean, there's other enzymes as well, but this superoxide dismutase, because it's protecting your mitochondria, uh, and because ours is alive and everybody else's is dead, there is one other place you can get live superoxide dismutase in spirulina is if you get frozen spirulina because, it's, again, no high heat. Uh, but frozen spirulina is tough to find, um, fast expiry day, tough to travel right. with. So that's why you have to be really careful because and this is why other stuff doesn't work as well as ours, because we're probably if not the only one of the few companies that do not use high heat. So our, that's why our algae is raw. So um, it, you have to understand the mechanisms because the mitochondria are generating your energy. So if they're damaged, um, they can't generate energy. It's not just energy for going on a run or energy for thinking your way through a traffic jam or an exam. It's energy to be sure that they're, um, the right immune system is being uh, turned on, to be sure that the right nutrients are getting where they need to go, where the, they, they control cellular communication so that it can stop or will, if, it, if it's not working, it won't stop cancer from growing. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's cellular energy. And, and they're realizing 90% of your oxygen goes to your mitochondria, 90% of your inflammation is in mitochondria. Remember, we've been talking about yeah. inflammation being so damaged. Right. It's 90% of that inflammation is in the mitochondria. And 90% of your energy is generated by your mitochondria. And it's, and, the, and the thing that controls the mitochondria are the mitochondria DNA. Um, the analogy uh-huh. I make is the mitochondria DNA are sort of like air controllers at an airport, right? right? Air controllers control everything coming in, coming out. And if they're not feeling well, if they're, or they're not on their job, planes <laughs> crash, right? Right. When your and mitochondria it- aren't healthy, your health crashes. It's, it's exactly, they control everything. And that's why it's so exciting right now in science, because they're realizing that to stop all of this chronic illness, to stop advanced aging, to prevent any kind of disease, it all comes back to the mitochondria and the mitochondria DNA. And here we have superoxide dismutase is the superhero to do that. That and 
intermittent fasting and, and, and or a keto diet. Th those two, you could live at least 120 and not have, you know, fatigue and brain issues or health issues or, or physical issues. So it's pretty I've, powerful. <laughs> oh, so powerful and so needed. Cause like always with any sort of health approach, biohacking, anything, I'm like, okay, how far have we removed ourselves from nature, from what we plop down on this planet and we're given like the amount of sugars and processed carbohydrates that we're eating compared to what's in nature is insane. Like it is, so, even if you eat pretty healthy, I bet you're still eating like processed, maybe like healthier chips or healthier, you know, healthier goodies, healthier cookies. It's like, we are removed from that big time. And so yeah. there has to be some sort of balancing or no wonder we're getting so sick, so off track and having this as a powerful way to come in. And it's a food source. Like you yeah. said, it's a whole food source that's just pressed into little tablets. It's yeah. incredibly sustainable as you talked about on our other episode. I mean, yeah. like, uh, and as we, we, it's, we've learned now that it's an eternal being that never dies. I want some of that yeah. 2 billion year old algae. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I want that in my body, but like, it's, it's, um, it's a way to offset the damage. And it's, it's, you know, probably people listening to this podcast are kind of on that track. Yeah. Right. But there's so much, I appreciate you coming on and talking about it. And I hope if you guys are listening, like share this, because just even the concept of like understanding that we need to do things to proactively offset the damages that are happening from our unnatural lifestyles. Just the concept of that is yeah. something that we need to talk about more. You know, it's like, yeah. it's just reality. Well, and, what, and okay. Taco Bell is going to, it's literally just yeah. going to kill you faster. Your body can't yeah. thrive. Yeah. Um, and the, the, what I've realized, cause I speak to a lot of consumers now I'm speaking all over the country. People just don't know how their body operates. And I no. didn't either until I got into this. So this is why at first I was thinking, you know, I don't have a science background. I'm completely self-taught, but I am, I've realized I am the perfect person because I love yeah. science. And so I have a scientific mind, but I know what it feels like not to know the science. Right. You know more about how our cell phone works than our own bodies. And once you learn how your body functions, it, it's a lot easier to give it what it needs and, yes. and the miracle will start to happen. So it's, it's no big mystery. I mean, if you put, you know, um, Mazola oil in your car, do you really expect it to work? Well, if right. you put garbage processed foods into your, with no, you know, nutritional value that is yeah. actually inflammatory, do right. you really expect it to work? Right. No. And, and, <laughs> and I, you know, the, the disconnect, I think sometimes between how you're feeling and the fuel that's going into your body. So think about that. It's like, okay, if you have a, any vehicle, I'm not even talking a sports car. I'm talking any vehicle and it doesn't have oil. Like you only give it gas, but it doesn't have oil. It's not going to work. It has specific needs. Right. And that's coming back into our bodies. It's just like this, it's a mental shift. That's so needed. Yeah. It's like, what do you need body? Oh, you have like all these specific needs. Oh, and they're all found in nature. Oh, okay. I'll give you some of those. Here you go. You know, right. and it doesn't have to be this huge, like you can't ever eat chocolate chip cookies again. Like, no, you know, cause no. sometimes that's a, where people go, they go from standard American diet to like, okay, all I'm eating is salads. And it's like, yeah. you know, you get to a place where you kind of crave the salads because you got good at making salads and they're freaking good. And you yeah. will want yeah. that, you know, and that's you okay. feel how you feel. But also, even if you're still going to eat, fast food and cookies and brownies and chips and all this stuff. Also, please God, just give your body also some nutrients. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's Add the, that in. And this is a very easy way it, to do that. It'll, it'll offset all that other damage. And yes. honestly, you'll start feeling better. And this is, again, I want to emphasize the effortless na nature yeah. of the algae tablets. All you have, you can put them in a smoothie if you want, swallow them. I like to chew them. You can put them with a trail mix, add them to a salad, but there's yeah. most people do swallow them, but they are food. We call them bits because they're bits of nutrition. Yeah. Um, but once you understand that all of your health issues start at the mitochondrial DNA level, and now that you know a way to protect your mitochondria. Now, the good news is, as I mentioned at the very beginning, our bodies are constantly remodeling. So whatever condition you have now, whether it's a heart issue or allergies or you know skin issues or gut issues, it can be corrected because your body will be constantly, there's a great expression, an Asian expression that you never st uh, step in the same river twice. Think about that. The same, you never have the same body 
ever. Every day it's a little different based on how you slept, uh, you know, uh, what you ate, wh how much exercise you had. So every day you have another chance to, you know, step up. Algae will, will up level whatever it is that you're doing yeah. and do it for you effortlessly. Yeah. And it will do it at the cellular level. So you'll notice spirulina within 20 minutes. If you take 20, you'll notice that you're just feeling more yep. alert. You have yep. more energy. Yep. It's not like you're going to feel like you're superhuman and you want to jump off a tall building with a single bound because it's quiet <laughs> energy. It's just nutritional. It's real energy. energy. It's but healthy it, energy. It's yeah, healthy. exactly. It's steady. And But what's really important for you to know that it's not just the energy you're, you're observing from your increased uh, yeah. improved activities, it's right. at the cellular level. So as right. your cells are turning over, they're going, oh, great. It's like giving your cells a makeover. It's like, oh, great. Yeah. Everything starts to thrive. Finally, something that I can use. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's like, exactly how I like see it. Being in and a rainstorm and being given an umbrella. Oh, thank you for the protection. Thank you. Yes, right? I appreciate that. Exactly. Okay. And I have I, one more key, key oh, thing yes, I need to please. tell you. I, you know, yeah. So if, if, if all of what I've told you wasn't enough to convince you to use spirulina to protect your mitochondria, I got the final piece of it all. Oh, okay. Your, your mitochondria came from spirulina. Are you friggin' kidding me? <laughs> it's true. It's all documented in, a, in science. It's called endosymbiotic theory. And I'm going to tell you exactly how it happened. Okay. So 4 billion years ago, we had earth. No, no gas or no oxygen, just gas and water. Don't know why, but one little bacteria, a cyanobacteria, uh, started growing, and it's called an anaerobic uh, cell. It uh, did best without oxygen, and there wasn't any oxygen. So anyways, it started growing, but after a billion years, as it generated ATP, it released oxygen. So after a billion years, there was more oxygen on Earth, so a different type, an aerobic cell, could start growing. So, but they didn't do as well generating ATP. And by then there was so much oxygen that the little cell, the cyanobacteria that started it all um, was having a hard time surviving because it was an anaerobic cell. So the big cell engulfed the little cell, the cyanobacteria, and instead of digesting it, it just said, hey, you're generating all this great ATP which we need and you aren't doing so well in all that oxygen which uh, and we'll protect you from that why don't you just stay and we'll hang out together so the best analogy i give to people is like if you've ever had a friend who gets kicked out from their apartment and they say hey can i come and stay with you and you go oh, okay fine and then they come and stay with you but they start doing your dishes they do <laughs> your grocery shopping they pick up your dry cleaning <laughs> they make your life so much easier that you go say you say hey stay forever That's exactly <laughs> what happened the little cyanobacteria was generating so much atp for the big cell he, they said stay and that little cyanobacteria became your mitochondria is that not the craziest thing in the world craziest coolest Crazy. thing no <laughs> wonder they get along <laughs> so i love to show this is like dear diary what a monday today i was engulfed by a giant cell out of nowhere your mito the reason why spirulina gives your mitochondria everything it needs to to live to survive to be optimal to be protected is because it's the same thing came from the same thing it's like meeting your long lost twin and this is why this is now why i'm going to tell you why there are two membranes in your mitochondria the first membrane the inner one was the original one when it was all by itself out here. The wow. second one developed when it got engulfed by the wow. big bacteria. Wow. Because all of your cells have a cell membrane around it. So when it <laughs> got engulfed, it had that second membrane. Now that the outside membrane is like all your other membranes in your body. They have these things called porins. They're little channels that allow antioxidants, proteins in and out. Like that's how your body functions. That's your cell membrane. But your mitochondria have that inner membrane left over from its original uh, days as a cyanobacteria by itself. And nothing except the the superoxide dismutase or chlorophyll or melatonin 
can get in there. And guess what? Those are the three things that are in spirulina. Wow. The only things that can get into that inner membrane are in spirulina. Holy and cow. Spir spirulina turned into your mitochondria. That you couldn't make this stuff up <laughs> if you tried, right? I can't imagine how exciting this has been for you to discover all this. As you, Cause I, we, I mean, I think everybody, everybody who knows, you knows, everyone who's listening, you knows like this has been like a calling. It has pulled you. Like you didn't even choose it. It was like, nope, you're going to start spreading the message on this. And you have tirelessly <laughs> researched and been curious and shared. And I know that moment had to be like, I oh felt, my God. I felt I won the lottery or a Nobel <laughs> prize because this isn't new science. This has been around for 60 years, this whole mm -hmm. endosymbiotic theory, mm -hmm. but nobody has linked it to right. health. It's so plant biology. Cool. And, right. but it's, it's, and I'm going to be talking, I'm trying to get on the Joe Rogan show because it's not only evolutionary, it's revolutionary. Yes. And the problem <laughs> is we're so fixated on what's called the shiny new object that you know, we all were, we're look, looking for something, you know, high tech, high science, right? To give us that longevity solution. And pro, and algae has been here for 4 billion years. Yeah. It's not yeah. sexy. <laughs> and it's the, but I tell people it's the solution that's been hiding in sight the whole yep. time. Yep. It's just, just like mushrooms to me. Like me, yep. <laughs> who was obsessed with finding a way to help people be healthy naturally. And so I want to assure you, this is in lockdown scientific proof. There is, it's, I've got probably five, you know, 500 or a thousand links just about superoxide dismutase and just about the mitochondria, uh, the, 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 the um, cyanobacteria turning into mitochondria. This, it's, it's a fact. So, so awesome. I, I I wanted you to share that because I, you pulled me over at Metabolic Health Summit and you were like, Tara, look at this. And I'm like, what about it coming from algae? I was like, no freaking way. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Guys, if anybody has a connection to Joe Rogan, get this woman on Joe Rogan. Like, yeah. and I, I know it's going to happen because it's, it's, it is, it's completely like a breakthrough scientific discovery. And of course it was already there in nature. Already, of course. We always been there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like the it's most like the, obvious solution, but you know, yeah. uh, anyways, I'm so just so awesome. excited to share it with you because I want the world, the world, we can be healthy again. Yeah. And, and algae helps you put the power and the control back into your own hands. And, and you have, we've always had that power, but for the last 50 years, we've been sort of dazzled by, you know, doctors and their yes. white jackets yes. and, you know, yes. thinking they know better than us. No, yeah. there's nobody that knows you better than you. And yeah, I really want to help you take back your, the, the control that's always been there, the ownership of your body, you're driving the ship. You just, yeah. but you just need some help. You need some tools. You need some, an oar for your boat. And right. algae is a very powerful oar and it's so natural. And ours is the safest, purest that you can find. Um, yeah. I just think it's, it's a gift to us from the universe. And, seriously. Yes. And, and going back to, <laughs> yes. And going back to your, yes, the universe has provided us with everything we need. Right. And thankfully yeah. we have teachers that are going curious minds like you that are going out and saying, Hey, 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 look this way and try it out and experience it and see what you think. Because like you said, I know people experience it. I told you, I mean, I've said it every time, like my kids will take this independently. I know they're noticing a difference, right? Like I'm not telling them to, I just walk in and see that they've taken it. I'm like, awesome. You yeah. know, so they feel better. And yeah. I, I have to play off of your air traffic controller analogy because I love analogies, but that's how I see us with all these little beings in our body, right? I look at all the systems, all my muscles, all my cells, all my bacteria, all my mitochondria, everything that's in there. And I am like the air traffic controller per se. Yeah, you it's decide. Like, let me just give, I look at it. My analogy is usually like a king or a king or a queen over a kingdom. Right. And I'm like, yeah. are we give them what they need to thrive? Yeah. Right. Or yeah. are we going to just like deprive them? And they're like, please, we want to be a successful kingdom, but we don't have any water or food, please. We will just, you know, that's how our body is. It's like, I yeah. want so badly. We all want so badly for you to thrive. Please just give us what we need so we can, yeah. you know? And then last thing I was wondering if you could share before we close, 
is um cost right yes. because guys you can't get 20 percent off which is actually actually a really significant discount on these with coach Tara at energybits.com but can you talk about cost right because sometimes yes. your comparison that you do yeah yeah <laughs> and um our website is energybits.com and we have a 20 percent discount code coach Tara all one word and that will uh works on everything all the time so don't panic you don't have to go rush out and do it right now but um <laughs> so the thing is um we have a quote from NASA that says one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits or vegetables, one to a thousand. So that's pretty big. So I did the math on our bags, which normally sell for $125, but with your 20% discount code, Coach Tara, uh, brings it down to $100. And I know that's still a hefty sum of money, but let me tell you, using that um, calculation from NASA, I determined that there's 551 pounds of nutrition, veg the equivalent of 551 pounds of vegetables in this one bag. Yeah. So at five, at three dollars a pound, that would be you know fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars yeah. of nutrition. Yeah. So first of all, that that so it's efficient nutrition. You're getting the equivalent nutrition of sixteen hundred dollars worth of vegetables in one yeah. bag. Yeah. And the other thing is that's 551 pounds of vegetables you didn't have to lug home from the grocery store clean, cook, eat, or argue with your family or your kids or your husbands to eat and then spoil. There's a huge amount exactly. of spoilage in vegetables. Exactly. So it saves you money in the long term. Yep. It will certainly save your health. It will save your mitochondria and it will save you time in the kitchen. I mean, you can still cook for whatever you want and it never spoils. You could keep yeah. this for 10 years if you wanted. Yes. I wouldn't encourage you to, but but uh, that's the thing too. Yeah. Very efficient our... nutrition. So, and yes. it's all in these tiny little tablets that you can, uh, and we, you know, in, they come in large bags. These are the bags that the, the, this is the chlorella. This is the one that pulls out toxins and you know, helps you in the, you know, take it at night. And this is spirulina, the one that builds your mitochondria, gives you energy mentally, physically, and at the cellular level. And we also have the little tiny pouches. I, don't seem to have any. Well, here's. I've got them right here. Yeah. <laughs> There's 30 tablets in those, and so they they're great for traveling with, throwing in your lunch, yes. throwing in your gym bag. Yes. Uh, if you're going on a run, take you know take a, a car a full pouch yep. before. Uh, you it's just I can't tell you how many people just tell us they can't imagine uh, life without them. We, yep. we get invited to be part of uh, documentaries all the time because they're such nutrient dense. If you're going to a place, you're not really sure what time you're going to get into your hotel, or maybe there's not any good restaurants nearby, at least have this. That's why I call it your nutrition insurance <laughs> for yep. a reason, right? Yeah. And that's and, the thing, like, you know, you know how people sometimes, I mean, I, I, I can totally uh, relate to this. Like you get in a little kick and you're like, you buy all the vegetables. You're like, dude, I'm going to be so, I'm going to eat all of these this week. You get really ambitious. And then you're like, shit, I didn't, I only ate like a third of that huge bag of broccoli that I bought crap, you know? But if that happens with these, they're just, all, they're so good. You just come yeah. back to them when you're like yeah, back you're on right. your A game, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's nice. Yeah. Um, it's, but it's they're, um, so very efficient in terms of value. Uh, yeah. So, and, and I, I guess the other thing I would say is what value do you want to place on your health? Because once you are sick, let me tell you, it doesn't disappear overnight. Now you're looking at two to five or longer to un unwind whatever happened because you probably, the symptoms, first the first couple of years, they're not even symptomatic. There's an asymptomatic, but the yeah. damage is going on. And then you might start to start feeling some fatigue or brain fog and you think, ah, oh, well, you know, it must just be getting, I must be getting old and it's, you know, it's what happens. It doesn't have to happen like that. But once you get past those light symptoms, now you're starting to feel pain or you're restricted. And that's when you start to take action. You start thinking medications and thinking about surgeries. You never have to get to that point. If you start at the very beginning, whether yeah. you're 20 or 30 or 40 or 50, it's never too late to feel great. I remind people I am 65 and I have only millennials working for me. They can't keep up with me. I work 12 hours, 12 to 14 hours a day, usually seven days a week and have her 14, you know, and I live on this stuff. I mean, I do eat real food, but I am an example of how great you can feel as you get older, yep. you, you know, me yep. and Dave Asprey, we're going to be both like 120. <laughs> so, yes. So and it shows. 
Yeah. Don't wait until you're older and feel and and then just, and feel and then realizing I was right and and that you were right. There's there's ways to we we will all get older, but you don't have to age with problems. You don't have to yeah. age with discomfort. You don't have to age with disease like Alzheimer's or, and if you have some symptoms, you can unravel them because yes. your body is constantly regenerating. How exactly. lucky are we, right? It's, it's yep. you know, you, you, you could just start, you could start over now, like just say now and, and, and just make it happen. And it, it's such yeah. a small addition that you need to make. If you took five a day, two a day, any amount, um, you're, you're giving yourself n- more nutrition than you probably have in your entire cupboard right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Catherine, thank you so much for coming and sharing about the mitochondria. And yeah, if, if you're aging, like probably your mitochondria could use some help and support, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> really, and, you know, and if you want to keep that flow going well, and you're only 25 and you're listening to this, like keep the flow going well, keep it going. your mood, your athletic performance, like your whole life, how you show up in life depends yeah. on how you feel. All of us have been sick and realized, wow my health matters. I yes. literally can't even care about caring <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because yeah. I'm sick, you know, and you don't know, honestly, you don't know. I'm always open to like being, I feel amazing, but I'm like, what if there's another level? Because, but yeah. before when I didn't feel as good, I didn't know this was possible. Yeah. Like what else is there? So this is such know. a, yeah, it's such an easy way to do that. I swear I'm obsessed. That's why I want to have you back on the show. Not to thank mention you're you so one of the best much. educators in the biz. So thank you so much. And yes. we'll link everything up in the show notes. And I hope to see you on Joe Rogan soon. I'll be yes, yes. sending that out in the universe so yes. we can get this out to more people. Well, All right. And again, remember, your mitochondria control everything. And they came from spirulina, cyanobacteria. So it's as, as organic, uh, ancestral as you can get. So uh, yes. Give yourself um, what you know. Mother Nature gave to us, and yes. uh, feel yes. the feel the algae love, as I say. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'll be down in this as soon as we finish. Thank you, <laughs> right. Catherine. Take care. Thank you, Tara. <laughs>